Okay, well, hey, Jonathan. Hey, Naomi. Thanks for taking this ride with me. Um, is the heat good for you, or do you want? It's a little hot, you guys. It's a little hot. You know, I don't. I don't want to go to hell. Oh well. It was I, on honestly, eighty-one, guys. Okay, I just want to be clear 81. that it is freezing cold. When is it necessary for eighty-one? Ever? Natural, wow, that's crazy. Okay. You know what? That's all good, though. I mean, that's that know. Chicago blood I you mean, got on the inside of you. Like, do you think you're gonna be safe in this car with me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. What is your favorite Christmas song? You know, have you seen any of the other car chats? Mm -mm. Okay, so you hate me. We like clips. Got it. Okay, what is your favorite Christmas song? I mean, you got a lot of good ones, but the one that, you know, would get people in church if you really sing it well mm -hmm. is Oh Holy Night. All right, that's my favorite one to sing. <laughs> I never had a big enough voice for that one. What? Are you? I don't have a big voice. You know, they would give me some more chill, silent night, something. <laughs> but yeah, Oh Holy Night is the one that we aspire to be able to sing. We want to be like Naomi. I'm still like really shocked that you saying you don't have a big voice. You I think, think I have a big voice. I do. I think especially not back in the day though. Not back in I get the that. church kid days. You got another voice that's in here. It's like Whitney. <laughs> Like, oh. You know she is like Mrs. Christmas. You no, know, she is. She's one of the greatest of all time. Top ten artists of all time. My mother would have told me that was too many runs. <laughs> For the top of the song, said what? sing it one time straight. Right. Come back and mess it up. Not come back and mess it up. So is that a thing for you? Like, <laughs> I, no. I would love to like know your. I, it's not theology. I guess ideology behind singology. Singing. Yes, yeah, singing a song. Cause I believe that too. Yeah. Like, don't give us all the things. Can't in the give beginning. us all the things. First of all, never give us all the things. <laughs> but definitely don't do it up top. But now she didn't do all the things. She just did a little bit. Missionary Janice McReynolds would not have preferred that. But no, it's, it's, I try to sing at least the first verse a little straight. Mm -hmm. Do you do you think it's the same for a song like this that we all know? It's possible, that's what I'm saying. It's, she could probably do her own thing immediately. And it's Mariah, and it's 50 million versions you have to make it your own like immediately right so i don't blame her i'm just saying janice wouldn't have approved that's all i'm saying jonathan's cool with it but janice i heard her in my ear as <laughs> as she gave all them runs in the first line i was like mm -mm. you're doing too much <laughs> i get it like i have always like literally i was gonna say loathed like hated when people did too much and didn't establish the melody of the song mm -hmm. in the beginning like that matters to me mm -hmm. um I think I think it's different too like when you're a songwriter and you actually write the melody and you actually you want people to know it. you want people to know the melody yeah. I Do feel like sometimes I've undersung songs like when I after after a year of singing it out live you listen to like the original version I mean, like the album version, and you're like, man, this is real plain. I could have done something, but I mean, like, yeah, it's important for me to get the words out, the meaning, the lyrics, the the melodies, all of that. You know, that's always important for me to get out first. So any kind of runs and other stuff, I, you know, I feel like I underdo it. But that's okay, cause this next album, I'm gonna sing a little bit more. Well, I'm excited. What are you like working on next? Is there a gift coming for? Us next. <laughs> a gift. A gift. You know, this is our Christmas. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm excited. No, it's, it's going to be dope. In a few months, a couple months, few months, uh, you'll hear something from me. And uh, yo, I hate when I artists are this vague. I hate this. I will say this this is going to be excellent, but it's definitely going to be all over the place. I think um, there's an artist. Her name is Lisa Ronstadt. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. I could be messing up. You know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She 
like I watched a documentary on her life um and she was literally that type of artist she did every like every single genre mm -hmm. and just sang and I actually believe that people are way more open and receptive I asked you that question like being tricky or whatever but I because I think there's a misconception that people aren't open to different styles and types of music or that as an artist you have to just be one thing but I actually think that people are as long as you do it well and it's authentic to you um, I think that people are willing to listen I make music because it's art it's it's a part of who I am and it's mm -hmm. expression and I think that that's important and I don't honestly believe that my I'm existing the way I'm supposed to exist if I'm not creating music yeah if I'm not making music and that's my worship to God it's me returning what he's given to me but also it's a public service and mm -hmm. I believe that people need art yeah to live and to see and to behold the glory of God and so for me, it's never been about money. And I think sometimes that's what deters us from doing um, or creating our, the art that is most authentic to who we are mm. and most glorifying to God. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I yeah. want to keep it like that. Make sure that we don't, you know, repeat the, the sins of, of the past, <laughs> yeah. which is making making God a particular sound, making the presence of God a particular sound, making the awareness of God a particular sound, because as soon as we start to di 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 uh, divert away from that sound, you're going to have people saying, well, what happened to the presence of God? Right. He's right here. Because they're saying that already, you know, the, the old really traditionists, are. they're already looking at it. What, that doesn't sound like what church used to sound like. And well, it's never going to sound like that forever. Cause we don't sound anything like David, like, right? In anything, <laughs> they literally had a different like scale, it. and <laughs> like, and now that would sound weird to us. And they don't even know. Like, no, literally, like their tuning was different, so mm -hmm. it would actually sound strange, and probably we would probably be calling it demonic. But ooh. <laughs> isn't that crazy? Like, I've learned that God is so much bigger. Mm -hmm. than anything that we could understand that we could fathom mm -hmm. i think we keep trying to fit him into our understanding so that we could worship him right but that's not what he's called us to do he's called us to just worship him yeah like i don't tell my kids you know make me a a circle face with a like it had like mm -hmm. my kids they draw create their me. own. Yeah, they draw me things and and give it to me, and I love it. You got macaroni you so got much. Glitter, yes, watercolors, like all of it. It's yeah. my favorite, and I keep them forever. I don't throw them away ever. Of course, as soon all as they of give them. it to me, you keep them. All of them. They I have, all go they, on the refrigerator. Yes, or in a very beautiful safe plastic bag. Yeah, with a drawstring. Right, and I hold and then it, it gets all sent day. off to, to a, a, a special a place. place that hold holds all of it. That, yeah. I feel you. Um, that's how we do it. But it's love. Like, it's their expression. Mm -hmm. And as their mom, I want what they believe is beautiful, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, if... Now, here's the thing. If I believe that they just threw it together mm -hmm. and it was just, you know... And I'm going to be honest. I appreciate and enjoy their creations that they create at home mm -hmm. more than at school. Like, more than if it was an assignment. Mm -hmm. Um, I still value it because I understand that they put their creativity in it. Right. But if they were to make it at home and it was just like, you know, out of their hearts and like their desire, I'd be like, okay, I know that you did this from that place. And I'm not saying that God is like us, but I do think that there's something to one. Yes. Okay. You've been assigned to do something and you do that. But then mm -hmm. there's something of man, just because of the love yeah. I can create from that space. At the end of the day, your kids probably feel like they can be even more themselves at home yeah so what happens oh, when the home what happens when the place that we should feel comfortable to be as weird and nuanced as we are what happens when that's the place of restriction what happens when that turns into the place where ah, i gotta i gotta put my church oh, mask I, on i, I have to illegal. make sure i don't um do illegal u-turns in the middle of yeah um so but anyway if i get pulled over then boop, boop. i would actually be really scared <laughs> Mo never mind i won't talk about it what happened no i was saying like 
I sometimes get nervous dirty? when the police. No, I'm no, I got, I'm good. But I get <laughs> nervous getting pulled over by the police. I'm like, I just don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. Catch me wide and dirty. <laughs> I'm like, I just don't know. I be out the, out of town so much. I don't know if I have like tickets or like they're about to be like, girl, I'm taking your car. I got warrants. Hello. Out there for Naomi. Like who knows? Oh my goodness. You would know. I wouldn't because I'm gone so much. I wouldn't. It's know. not in the mail. Is that how they do it? Yeah, they send it. They send in New York. They send it in the mail, but like. My husband takes my mail and does things, and, and it's kind of always, yeah, it's, you know. It goes where the kids' where the, pictures go? Hello. Huh? No, for real, because yes. I'm like an anti-clutter person. Like, get it out of here. Listen, if there are warrants out for Naomi's arrest, please contact this number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and make sure you get it after Christmas so I can give my kids some gifts and yes. then go to jail. My goodness. It just got really dark. Really I hate, dark. I, I mean, hate it. It's on you. I was actually preaching. You were. I was trying to. But no, because then you came for my illegal U-turn. And I you mean, didn't have to do that. You, you you took the illegal U-turn. I couldn't really ignore it. I'm about it. to do another one. Oh, goodness. I just want you to know that we're okay. And we're not. We're not dying. Also, <laughs> I don't know how to reverse this car. Okay, got it. <laughs> I have some for you, though. keep me day by day oh I thought you said keep me dead I was like to my sin flesh evil desires you're really morbid no right now no it's Dark. like do you know that our faith is very like graphic and terrible like it's great but it's also like gory gory like eat my blood I'm mean, sorry eat my flesh drink my blood yeah it's a little gory like the, the best thing that happened to us was somebody's tragic God. death. Thorns. Spear in the side. Oh, wow. Oh, that was dangerous, sir. Wow. Hmm. Dangerous, sir. So, I'm not really sad about being a little, not morbid, but, you know. I love it. Graphic. I love it. It's me doing You're this. just being more like Christ. Yes. Christ didn't run away from the, the, the he morbid really in the dark. He ran through it. And he on really the third did. day. Mm. He rose again. Rose again. I don't know. This savior is a good guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are wrapping up our car chat. Mostly because you have a flight to catch. <laughs> and I will not be the reason that you miss your flight. But I did want to give you a gift. So let me park up and then uh -oh. I'm going to go grab it. I get gifts? Yes, it's Christmas. It's a Christmas gift? Yes. One second. I got to get it from the back. I hope it fits better than this <laughs> sweater. Because uh, I'm really making it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I should have you open it first or tell you why I got it for you first. Which one do you want? As I open it. Okay. So I got this for you. It's a small gift. Mm -hmm. I got this for you because I believe that when you first released your album and even to this day, that you are, you were and are like the missing link. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you are somebody who really brings brings together religion and what I want to call recreation when it comes to music, mm -hmm. when it comes to God, if that makes sense. I feel like you, you bridge the spiritual and the natural because God is not just in spiritual things. He's in natural things as well. And I think you have a divine gift. I think that's like what the Lord set you here to do. And I'm really grateful for you. Oh, and you. it's a small gift. I try to get everybody something that, you know. I didn't know it was about to be that deep. Yeah, oh. I think it's special. I'm excited. It's small, but I hope you like it and don't hate it, but you never have to like wear it or anything. No pressure. David Yerman, Yerman. It's just a little. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm pulling everything else but it. It's just 
love it. No, it's all good. Bracelet. I love it. You know, I be wearing them. I be rocking these bracelets. You better rock them. I be rocking them. It's a it's a simple chain link, but I like it because it's thick. Mm -hmm. And I like my prayer for you because you know, we be you do be praying. For I me. you know I do be trying to pray for the people. For my prayer for you is that you would only grow and thicken i love what you're doing i love that you're bringing other artists along that do the same thing that you do and i pray that you always take up the space that you've been given and i know you don't always get the respect um and recognition that you deserve but just so you know i see you and i believe god sees you so i love you Merry i love Christmas. you too thank you honey i appreciate it now for my gift uh this man came empty handed. You see what? You see what I I didn't know you, you didn't even bring me a drink like nothing. You could I mean this is, you can have some. No, I don't mm -mm. Oh. I'll get out. Oh. oh, all right. No 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 you gonna be get out. Yes, I'm get out. out and go catch your mind. I'm I'm gone. Forget it. Bye. I love you. I love you.